ओके अलग से अरेंज किया है क्लास ट्वेल्थ में सी बी एस ई प्लीज लुकर दिस एक्सरसाइज चैप्टर वन एक्सरसाइज क्वेश्चन नंबर थ्री ये रेस गिवन दे रहे हैं चेक द रेशियो के स्क्वायर बाय जी एम ई इनटू एम पी दैट इज एम ई मींस मास ऑफ इलेक्ट्रॉन मास ऑफ प्रोटॉन एम पी दैट इज एम ई एम पी इन इज डायमेंशनलेस दैट इज नॉन डायमेंशन हाउ कैन यू प्रूव इट ओके नेक्स्ट लुक ऑफ द टेबल एंड फिगर कांस्टेंट एंड डिटरमाइन द वैल्यू ऑफ दिस देन नेक्स्ट टाइम आई विल फाइंड आउट द वैल्यूज फर्स्ट टू डिस्कस हाउ इट इज डायमेंशनलेस ओके दिस पार्ट इज ओनली टू रिप्रेजेंट द डायमेंशनलेस दिस रेशियो इज डायमेंशनलेस लुक एट हियर फर्स्ट इलेक्ट्रोस्टैटिक फोर्स वन इज इलेक्ट्रोस्टैटिक फोर्स अनदर इज हियर ग्रेविटेशनल फोर्स ओके इलेक्ट्रोस्टैटिक फोर्स दैट इज सपोज आई हैव टेकन इलेक्ट्रोस्टैटिक फोर्स एफ1 एंड दैट इज यू नो दैट 1 by 4 pi स्क्वायर 0 into q1 q2 by r square so q1 q2 by r square 1 by 4 pi स्क्वायर 0 q1 by 4 pi r square that is q1 is also charge q2 also another charge so since q1 and q2 both are charges so that's we have put here the e that is charge of one electron so charge e e stands for here charge q1 q2 both is that is e so q1 q2 is what that means e into e that means e square right now r square so f1 is equal to 1 by 4 pi epsilon 0 as you know that k value of k is constant that is 1 by 4 pi epsilon 0 that is k so here is k and k into e square by r square now from here we can find out value of k from here the value of k is equal to Also calculated that is the F1 into R square by E square. Look, look at here. F1 into this value of K is calculated here. Now put the value of K and the dimension of this force, then radius and the charge of electron. You know the current is equal to what Q? The I is equal to Q by T. So Q is equal to I T. That also you know that I is equal to what Q by T now. So Q is equal to I T. So for that here A for amperes, dimension formula that is A for ampere per current, T for time. Okay, so E is equal to A E into E. That means charge one, it comes charge another charge. So A into T, A into T, A for what ampere? I I T. Q is I T. So since Q is I T, now for one electron E. I A T and it is dimension formula A T and also A T. So this is the dimension formula of K. In the same way for gravitational force, you know F is equal to G M by square. So from here calculate G. Then G is calculated here and G is equal to here F R square by what M M E mass of electron and mass of proton in the ratio. Also you calculate the value of G dimension formula of G. Now G and K, the both is them from now on. They calculated. Now look at here. If the ratios F1 and F2, the two ratios is calculated. Now F1 and F2 by putting the values, finally this ratio will come. When this ratio will come, only you have to put the dimension formulas of each ratio for K, for E, for G, for M, for T. So I have done here for K, calculated here. For E, calculated. G also calculated. M E M P mass only. Then is that everything is calculated. Now K value of K is here, and this is the E square. This is your G, and this two are what mass? This is electron and proton. M E and M P. Okay. Now I put in for all this. The very the powers are coming zero. So M one M zeros L zeros T zeros. So n zero n zero zero means this is dimensionless. Since it is dimensionless, now your second part is that you have to put the values of this. Suppose this this is so by this is so. Okay, this is so by this is so. Between the two electron between electron and proton, the force of attraction, the gravitational force of attraction, and the electrostatic force of attraction, and how they differ each other. Okay, that second part is given by putting this value. All this by putting this value in this case. This E G M E G M E G and E G and F all these values and including the one by four position is a constant. Okay, that is a K. All these values are input. What value will come? Okay, the value will come two point two nine. Okay, remove that this part and this is this is finished. So if you get here, suppose I put here this one part. If the values will come. 
So you start playing like in here. The values will come here. That is 2.29. After putting these values, what will come? So these values will come. That is k e k e square by z m e m p is equal to what? The values will come here. That is 2.29. 2.29 into 10 to the power 39. Okay, this ratio. So that means the KE electrostatic force is this times of gravitational force. So electrostatic force is uh, this by the, the rest of this one means uh, this by one. Okay, suppose this by one or KE is equal to KE e square. Electrostatic force electrostatic force is no longer is more as compared to the gravitational force. That is why here it is given that uh, the statistics uh, the electrostatic force between the electron and proton this times uh, the gravitational force between the S. So, electrostatic force of this times obviously Ke square is this times or Ke square uh, Ke e square is equal to 2.29 into 10 to the power 39 into Z M E M P. Yes. So the force of the electrostatic force of attraction between electron and proton is comparatively more than the gravitational force of attraction between electron and proton. Okay, how many times? This times. Okay, this is the significance of the electron and proton. Okay, understood? If you are not able to understand, then just you again call me. Okay, over.